When it comes to long-running TV shows, Grey's Anatomy is a total powerhouse. It's been around for what feels like forever. Naturally, with all that success, you might be wondering who's raking in the most cash. Let's break it down and see who's making the big bucks in the halls of Grey Sloan Memorial. Kim Raver as Teddy Altman. Kim Raver was first introduced in Grey's Anatomy Season 6. The actress recurred on the show for three seasons before exiting in Season 8. Raver returned six years later, in 2017, and has remained on the show ever since. Her current salary is unknown, but it's likely more than $100,000 per episode. In 2020, Ravers and her co-stars Camilla Luddington and Kevin McKidd signed new multi-year contracts to continue on Grey's Anatomy, although the amount was not revealed by ABC. Come on. Give me a woo! Woo! That's, no, that's not good. Come on, you gotta wake up. Woo! Woo! Camilla Luddington as Joe Wilson. Camilla Luddington joined the cast of Grey's Anatomy as Dr. Joe Wilson in 2012. It was reported that her income was $83,000 per episode, although it's likely much north of that as she's still a series regular as of season 20, which returned in 2024. The British actress's net worth is estimated to be about $2 million. I know. I just operated with him. What? He's a psychopath. Yeah, he had a lot to say about her. What? He takes the truth, but he he twists it and changes it to fit his own story. It's not it's not true. You were Joe Wilson. I know exactly who you are. Kevin McKidd is Owen Hunt. Kevin McKidd has appeared on Grey's Anatomy since season five in 2008 and has even directed a handful of episodes. His current salary per episode is unknown, but it's likely north of $100,000 if you consider his tenure on the show. McKidd's last reported salary was $83,000 per episode. His net worth is estimated to be around $14 million. 40 years from now, I'm gonna have to pry that scalpel out of your hand too from my cold, dead hands. You're missing the point. I want to be around 40 years from now. Kate Walsh as Addison Montgomery. Kate Walsh made her Grey's Anatomy debut in the season one finale. She was eventually given her spin-off private practice from 2007 to 2013 before returning to the medical drama in 2018. It was reported that Walsh was paid $125,000 per episode at one point, but now her payout is likely much higher. So have you made a decision yet, Dr. Stevens? I'm sorry? Whether or not you're going to hate me. You're Meredith's friend. I'm the Wicked Witch who came in and ruined your life and cheated on Dr. Wait, what is it that you guys call him? McDreamy. Right. God. Katherine Heigl as Izzy Stevens. Katherine Heigl suddenly left Grey's Anatomy in season six. According to Entertainment Weekly, she earned as much as $125,000 per episode when she said farewell to her character, Izzy Stevens. In 2007, it was reported that Heigl and her representatives opted out of negotiations because the studio didn't value her as much as her co-stars. Eventually, Heigl earned a bigger payday after she was offered a substantial raise. Cut me some slack here. No, you went to Dartmouth. Your mother is Ellis Gray. You grew up... Look at this house. You know, you walk into the OR and there isn't anyone who doubts that you should be there. I grew up in a trailer park. I went to state school. I put myself through med school by posing in my underwear. You know, I walk into the OR and everyone hopes I'm the nurse. Chandra Wilson as Miranda Bailey. As one of the OG cast members of Grey's Anatomy, Chandra Wilson is still going strong on the medical procedural. It was last reported that the actress was making at least $125,000 per episode, but we assume it's much bigger than that figure, considering that she's been on Grey's for 20 seasons now. Her net worth is reportedly around $10 million. It's not a stepping stone for me. I believe in this hospital and what it can do. And I want to push this 
bucket of bolts to do the most impossible things you have ever seen. James Pickens Jr. as Richard Weber. Like his co-star Chandra Wilson, James Pickens Jr. is still acting in the long-running medical drama after almost 20 years. He's also estimated to be making more than $125,000 per episode of Grey's Anatomy. The exact number is unknown. The 69-year-old actor's net worth is slightly higher at $13 million. The seven years you spend here as a surgical resident will be the best and worst of your life. You will be pushed to the breaking point. Look around you. Say hello to your competition. Eight of you will switch to an easier specialty. Five of you will crack under the pressure. Two of you will be asked to leave. This is your starting line. This is your arena. How well you play, that's up to you. Jesse Williams portrayed Jackson Avery from season six to season 19 of Grey's Anatomy. The actor earned $260,000 per episode of the medical drama before his departure. In 2022, Williams was ordered to pay more than $50,000 a month in child support to his ex-wife and subsequently requested a reduction. And those who came before us, they give us something to pass on to future generations. Sandra Oh starred on Grey's Anatomy as Christina Yang from season 1 to season 11. Although it's unknown how much she made before her exit, TV Guide reported that Oh made $350,000 per episode in season 9, which was in line with what Patrick Dempsey and Ellen Pompeo were making. Celebrity net worth estimates Sandra Oh's net worth to land at around $25 million. I need to stay in bed and feel like I might die today. Whatever. Everybody has problems. Now get your ass out of bed and get to work. Now! Move! 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 What were you saying? Yeah. We're good to go. Justin Chambers as Alex Karev. Justin Chambers played the charming Alex Karev from season one until his departure in season 15. Before he left the show, the on-screen doctor earned around $375,000 per episode of Grey's Anatomy. Celebrity Net Worth reported that the actor made $9 million per season, contributing to his net worth of $18 million. Morning, Dr. Model. Dr. Evil Spawn. Ooh, nice tad. They ever brush that out for the catalogs? I don't know. What do they do for the 666 on your skull? Ooh. Patrick Dempsey as Derek Shepard. Patrick Dempsey left Grey's Anatomy in season 11 when his character was killed off the show. The actor was raking in $400,000 per episode at the time of his departure, according to The Hollywood Reporter. His exit even allowed ABC to save nearly $10 million for one season. I didn't become a doctor because I wanted to be a god. I became a doctor because I wanted to save lives. Look at me. Please. Look at me in the eye. I'm a human being. Ellen Pompeo as Meredith Grey. Ellen Pompeo officially left Grey's Anatomy in season 19, but generally her character is still around. Pompeo made $575,000 per episode during her peak as part of a new deal she signed in 2018. In 2020, Forbes named Pompeo the 10th highest paid television actress after making $22 million in 2019. I'm 48 now, so I've finally gotten to the place where I'm okay asking for what I deserve, which is something that comes only with age, Ellen told The Hollywood Reporter. Oh, thank you for that. You don't get to sit up there and ask questions about my daughter. If you want to take my license and make sure I never see another patient again, then you do that. But you have absolutely no right to ever mention my daughter's name because you are the one who killed her father. <laughs>